I'm reminded of, of the story of, of two little boys that were playing on, on some ice during the winter. And, and, and as they got further out on this ice, one fell through the, the thin ice. And, and so the little fellow that was still on top of the, the ice, he was trying to save his, his little buddy. And he couldn't reach him, he was trying to pull him. He could see him through the thin ice as he got further away from him, struggling. And, and he couldn't reach him and he's trying to break the ice and he couldn't do it. And he looked around and he saw a tree in the distance and he ran and, and he got up on the tree and, 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 and he pulled and broke down an enormous sized branch and came back and, and savagely began to beat that ice and broke it and, and miraculously he saved his friend. And when the paramedics came and they were able to revive this little boy, they were scratching their heads, they're trying to figure this out, said, how, how could this little pruny fellow go up in a tree and break off a branch this size and then come back and beat and break the ice and save his friend? They thought it was just miraculous, it was baffling. And an old guy who was there said, I can tell you how he did it. And they said, how? How did he do it? And he said, there was no one here to tell him that he couldn't do. Whoa. What could you do? What could I do? What could all of us do if we did not have the naysayers in our lives? That, that, that we believe naively like that little boy that it was possible. What would you do if, if, if failure was not on the table?